They're not ecstasy, they are deadly. Tablets like these may have killed up to 10 young people in Northern Ireland and seven in Scotland. The latest victim was an 18-year-old woman in Dumbartonshire who died yesterday. How worried are you about the deaths that we've seen? Well, I mean, I think that we're sufficiently worried to make this appeal and to warn people about the dangers because... And that warning is dire. They're made in backstreet laboratories by people who don't care what effect they have on you. The dealers and, and the people manufacturing them don't care. So you're, you're playing Russian roulette with your life. You don't know what's in the tablet. You don't know what effect it's going to have on you. Don't take it. Doctors do know what's in the tablets, a toxic substance called PMA. It causes aching muscles, frightening hallucinations and worse. They become combative, quite aggressive, um, and they're confused as about the surroundings and who's actually trying to help them. Then what happens is their body temperature starts to rise quite dramatically, and it is that which is what is killing these individuals. The fact that the deaths here are being linked not to pure ecstasy but to fake ecstasy has prompted a debate about whether it would be safer to regulate the drug. Most clubbers who take ecstasy think the main ingredient they're buying is MDMA, but of course they can't know for sure. A policy of blanket prohibition has driven everything underground, whereas a regulated market would be able to guarantee what it is that people were buying and what the effects were, and the person who was making that choice would get what they paid money for. For now, police are worried about this weekend's Tea in the Park festival. Extra doctors are being sent amid worries that heat, alcohol and drugs could be a deadly mix. James Cook, BBC News, Glasgow.